and here we have the Parker 51 it comes in this cardboard we open up here on this side is asking you well is the direction and give you a web page for your uh, comments comes in this hard box and we open up and here is the Parker what else is in here nothing other than two cartridges no converter included on mine and a very simple box but I'm okay with that it's a uh, you do not buy uh, are not buying boxes you are buying pens so i'm okay with that and this is a twist to uncap is uh, i don't know if you can appreciate it in your in the video in the screen maybe too much light but it's some sort of uh, blue like teal metal and that's it is inlaid nib i don't know how to pick it but i think it's a little bit on one side it's not properly aligned and here is the point of the nib i will include a picture with some in macro shot but here in my case is the fine the cap is heavy, is metal, looks like a stainless steel brush with a classic arrow clip on the top, finial is plain, Parker name and logo here and nothing else in anywhere so let me put a cartridge here and give it a try I don't have converter I need to buy one but in the meantime let's use this blue cartridge and see how it cries now my tip I don't know if you can see but this when you buy the cartridge comes completely sealed so in order to start writing you need to press hard so one piece that is here inside can puncture the cartridge and ink starts flowing so make sure you exert you will know a, a lot of pressure and in my case I already felt that I made puncture of the cartridge if you would like to check put nib up remove and see you should see no longer the plastic but the ink okay and then put it back now you can do two things at this point it's up to you some people like to put the nib pointing down for one minute or two and then start writing i have time so what i will do is leave horizontally here for i don't know 10 15 minutes and then you can unscrew on cap and try to start grinding if it doesn't grind you do this movement a couple of times and ink will flow just be patient this is not rollerball you need to wait so I'm going to pause this video and let's wait okay so let's make a small size comparison with a very popular and famous fountain pen which is the Lamy Safari this is an LX but it's virtually the same size so as you can see uncapped are the same this is slimmer and when you cap that was capped uncap this is smaller right let me zoom in So yes, it's smaller, uncapped, and this is next to other pens I have on hand with ink. 
this is the gorgeous pilot urushi so any pen is smaller next to this one right but for size comparison purposes also this is a wancher let me uncap okay and this is next to a uh, more popular also this is the 1911 large so it's a small pen right it's a small pen it's, it's lightweight very lightweight 21 grams and this is the way it writes it what it writes fine the paper is the rodeo right let me zoom in even more parker 51 fine knife nib is nice this is smooth no problems at all the only complaint uh, is uh, i am a little bit picky i think it's misaligned with the plastic not a big deal and the other complaint complaint is the price i think this is more than 81 dollars i recall uh, for this price maybe you can get a second hand gold nib there are two kinds of nibs uh, well there are more right but in a nutshell to the two more pop most popular materials for the nib are steel and gold being the gold the more expensive and steel is cheaper also you have titan titanium and other stuff but uh, even crystal pens right but glass pens but in a nutshell the this 81 bucks for this gold nib is i think a little bit excessive yes i get is a good brand i i get is a iconic model the 51 which i the first one was in 1949 but yet expensive for what you get you get a good pen but if you ask me does it work 81 i don't think so this one you can buy on sale the lamy for $30 and also is a very reliable writer so recommended uh, well yes no I think it's a quality pen but expensive anyways thanks for watching